Uh, so it's just a doesn't really. So I've got some in He's here. Got some in there. Look at that. He's got some so, shad. Perfect freezing shad. Oh man. So that is that's a good amount of shad. Beautiful, beautiful shad. That is the perfect. It's gonna get some some fresh water. But the more of the oils that stay on their body and the less that you stress them out. Otherwise, they'll dirty up the water with all the, the oils and stress coming off them. So I'm just gonna dump this straight into the bucket and get some of those chunks out of there. That one was a little more spread open, but then again, it hit the wall there a little bit. So it's okay though. Okay, we got a couple big ones. Mm. A couple big guys. This is good keeping size. Would you keep this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool. A lot of these guys. Some of these are. Ow. That's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Good and purpley. Beautiful. Here's I'll, I'll a like keeper. Some, yeah, definitely. That, yeah. And he's a feisty keeper. <laughs> fishing channel, by the way. You should check it out. Are you and your dad catfishing? Yeah. Nice. So, you, oh, you guys are catfishing tonight. How long are you guys going to be out? We get out here for like an hour. Are you Whoa. guys getting any bites? Like an hour. Oh, okay. So you want, uh, you guys, you what's guys, your name, man? My name is Gary. Gary. So Gary wants to get some shad over here because they're going to try to catch a monster catfish, right? Something like that. Are you guys, are you guys going to try and, are you guys cutting them up or are you guys going to try and use them while they're alive on the hook? Like, You're going to cut them up? So I'm gonna give That's you guys. That's what I'm talking about, I'm, Gary. I'm gonna give you some of the ones that are kind of floating a little bit. Yeah, give them a good amount. Because these guys are, they're still. There you go. You know what? This guy right here. How about that? Does that work? Yeah. Hey, right. appreciate good it. Good luck out there. Hope you guys catch a monster. <laughs> Catfish <laughs> KC. <laughs> You know, I've I've had people come up to me while I've kept been casting them before, and I, you can kind of tell they they might want some bait or they need something. And I always I always act like, you know, if I have a lot, like I I give them some, or to, I, I usually ask them if they want some. I, that's the first time I've ever seen somebody with money. That's so that was cute. We're at a new spot tonight. We have not fished here before. And uh, we're on the Kansas River, about a quarter mile from the Missouri River. So a lot of Missouri River blue catfish are up in here as well. This is a nice spot, right by the log jam over there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Probably can't see too much out there, but um, this is, there's a huge log jam right in there. And we've got some, so I, I have on my poles, I've got a live uh, green sunfish on this one. Kind of going, if you guys can see any of that, that huge log jam out there, I've got I've got a, a green sunfish kind of right on the edge of that. And, uh, sent another gizzard shad head out on this one. Uh, pretty far out. So, see how it goes, guys. Totally going to try to recast this one just because I got a bite on it and hasn't been a bite since. And I'll just throw it in a different spot, you know? And. This shad's still looking pretty. This is what I mean. I have this, it's like a, it's from Whisker Seeger. It's a little rattler. It's like a little shad rattler. But it should kind of dangle like this. Let's see. I mean, we've only been in the water 15 minutes. Like. Oh, I'm going to cast this bait back out. I'm just oh, okay. casting a different spot. I thought you were going to say about switching up bait. I was like, that probably still some good stuff. Yeah, There's some good stuff, all right. Mm. 
Matt's got a fish, or does he? That bell is going crazy. Ooh. Uh. How's it feel? Uh, it feels like it might be stuck. Oh no. But we're not going to give up on it. Is, um, it still, is it still on there fighting? I'm going to try and get some more light on it, see if it's crossing. Here, let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's definitely still on it. Look at that. So he's crossed over. Crossed over my big line? Yeah. So if I can get him. bring it over? Or do you I, want me to go underneath you? If I get him free, I'm going to come over here. Okay. You stuck underneath a log right now? I think so. Okay. Or I can switch now. What you feeling on there? You can still feel them on there. Look at those ducks. <laughs> can you even see the ducks? <clears throat> Barely. So, in this situation, I might try and let it go a little bit. Let some line out? Well, I'm gonna try and see what happens if I, if I kind of take it off a little bit. Okay. And if you watch my pole, Here. Whatever's on there, I, I hooked him. He's on there. You letting some line out? You think I should? Maybe. Because if he's wrapped around something. All right, let's just go back out, like be very loose, like this. And where? It looks like it headed straight for that wood pile. Yep, it's in there, isn't it? It's probably wrapped around 500 different logs right now. So, I might have to play the uh, tug of war with them. Well, you got 50 pound line on there, don't you? Uh, I don't think it's 50. Well, I'm, it might have been I think I went down to 30. Might be a good spot for fish, but uh. But you can see there's, whatever's out there is kind of. Yeah, it's getting you stuck kind of. Yeah. That's, sucks. What what kind of bait were you using on that one? Um, hmm, this. Was that some oh, shad? Oh, is this, oh no. That one, I think, is, this was the uh, cut perch, I, I believe. Oh, so cut perch, huh? Uh, a whole perch on there. Uh, oh, yeah, look at, look at my pole. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think he might might just broke free. Oh, yes. Get him in. But it's right above that log right there. All right. Oh, oh. did it just pop off? Is that him? <sighs> and somehow I'd have to get around this log right in front of me, right, right in front of me. In can the you water. Can, can you bring him around this way if you come underneath? Or are you just? Oh shoot! Did you just get him over. So, yeah. It's it's coming right in. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. It just. It's coming right towards me. Uh, it's right up on the surface here. Oh, look, it's a little blue. Nice, buddy. Hey, we haven't been here very long. That's right. At all. Look at that. Let's bring him up. He's fat. Yeah, he is. She's fat, I think. Well. Look at that. Nice fish, man. Oh, let's get that out of there. I mean, what do you think? 15 pounds? Oh, man, we got fish jumping out all over the place down there. 
Uh, I'd say this one's probably maybe 10. I always like to go under a little bit, but that's a... You want to get, get on scale? Or you... No, let's get to fishing, All I right, think. All right, let's get out there, get Guess. some more bait on. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do a little CPR tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not, in going... the, not in the way you think, but whoop, whoop. we're going to go ahead and put them back in. Oh. Watch this. There he goes. Disappears oh. back into the deep. There he That's goes. That's right. All right. Nice fish, man. We've been here, what, 20 minutes and you already got a fish? Yeah. And he's yeah. got the hands to prove it. Yeah. So. so the fish I just reeled in was really interesting because there was a lot of logs and it was weird. It's almost like it came over the log fairly nice. And I was wondering what in the world's going on. And you'll notice <laughs> there's, there's something missing from this, this rig right here. What's at the end over here, buddy? Mm. So it's supposed what, to be there. Whatever it was, uh, there was. I mean, I, I I'm not using a breakaway weight system or anything, but it, it took that my weight right off, and I think that's what actually helped me land that fish. Well, maybe because so, maybe your weight was stuck, and so wait, so is this the same test all the way through? Um, actually, this I believe is 50, and from here to there's 40. So whatever it broke off at the 40, and the 50 stayed intact. I was so say, whatever rig this is called, I always put like a 20 or 30 right here where the weight is just in case it needs to break off so I can keep my hook and everything yeah. else. And by the way, I, I don't usually do rigs like this. Um, I believe I was in an emergency situation. Which <laughs> emergency situation means I want to get back out in the water. I'd rather this uh, leader line right here with the hook be at least 12 to 18 inches and actually the, the weight kind of hang a little bit behind. But in this instance, like the weight actually, the, the, it looks like, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it looks like what happened was, uh, it actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually rig it up again and, and, and put another weight like this. I'd say the one thing you guys don't ever wanna do is ever have where your hook is at and your weight is at Oh, at the same length. at the same length because it you know you want one to be longer than the other in this instance the you know my lead was down here and this was able to kind of float around so i think i'm going to do that again it caught a fish Try so it. get it out there put a it, new lead on it I'm is going to tie a piece of lead on it is interesting i i didn't i didn't like the way that was actually uh rigged up but i'm going to do the same exact thing are you just putting another piece of lead on yeah i, I mean get back up there that's right Thank you.